Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a flow drill from the three um, ways that we hit and enter, go from back and forth from partner to partner. So as you're into your hoobud line and I take the hit, I get the hit, I go to the top line, to the arm bar, compression. She takes the line. She's hitting, coming in, hit, drop stick, arm bar, puño lock. And you can change them up, it doesn't have to be the same order. I started from here, that's where I ended up. Go to arm bar, go to the chest. It doesn't matter where you start. Straight to arm bar, to chest, to puño. And then you can play, you have fun with it. You can play into different disarm lines. Now she would strip me out. Then she would have the stick. Then I would take the disarm. Okay, so first we worked on top of the arm, now we're going to go underneath the arm. But first we're going to start from uh, mid-range out of the arm. So as the motion's coming in and you're doing your striking patterns, so you just go right in to your striking patterns. Okay, so basically what's happening is as you're doing your striking and I'm hitting, hitting, hitting and I'm coming underneath, so all I'm doing is I'm hooking with the puño into the uh, crook of her arm. First time we were up in from here. See, now as I hit through, I'm taking it underneath, okay? What I'm doing is I'm bracing the stick into my armpit. That gives me a lock. Instead of being right from here and it takes more strength to turn, then you can still do it that way, but put it into your pit, okay? Into your armpit. That gives you a lever point, okay? All I'm simply doing is I'm just rotating my body. As I rotate my body, the stick is going into a circular motion, okay? And it's good if you have it in the crook of the arm. You don't necessarily have to have it in the crook of the arm. Okay. It can be anywhere on the arm, as long as you have it braced stably. Okay. So if it's, say I just get it from right here, say I hit and I come up because she's moving, I locked it. All I'm doing is rotating. That gives me a clear shot into her armpit. Okay. Same thing. There's my hit. Here's my throw.
okay, from a different angle. As we're hitting, coming through, I'm just hooking. This one's into the crook of the arm. I lock it to my armpit. I'm rotating her because I want a clear shot into that armpit, okay? Because you want to break the ribs. Hit through. What I'm doing is collapsing right from here, okay? So that motion, once we hit, we take it right into the throw. So here's your throw. There's your hit. See, notice I still have control of the hand, okay? If she tries to hit whatever, I still can turn her away from me, okay? A little bit of a different option. Same thing as we're hitting, and I come from underneath and I turn her and get the hit. Once I'm in from here, I can just drop this line straight to the ground. See, this is on her chest. It's very uncomfortable. What you're going to use, you got the straight compression down. But as you're doing it, you would be lifting the arm. Okay? But it's very uncomfortable on your partner. I'll just do it lightly. Here's your compression and lift. Okay? But in reality, you would just pull. Punch. See? Just like you're breaking a brick. Pulling up on the arm. Boom. Okay? Okay, now from a slightly different angle. Same thing, work your striking patterns. Doesn't matter what you do. I'm in from here. Say I didn't get the crook. I'm on just onto the forearm, okay? Doesn't matter. This is my turning motion. Remember, this is a circle. Same thing from here, I'm pulling down. See, how that's turning? That turns the arm and shoulder. It's like into a bong saw position. With that circular motion added on, there's your turn. There's your hit. There's your hit. Straight to the ground. Go slow with this because your partner's landing on that stick and it's very uncomfortable. Okay? So you've got your straight compression here. Dunk as you lift. Okay? Another option, you're going from underline to thrusting line to the throat. First one, we're going to use the puño after the thrust. So as you come in and we get the hit, one, two, three, four, just come straight underneath. Okay? You don't want to go one, two, three, four and wind up. They see it. They can check it. Okay? So after you get your hits, this is just coming straight underneath. Okay? Because you want that shot into the throat. Now what's happening is I'm hooking her forearm with my puño. Okay, grab it with the left hand. What I'm doing is I'm driving it into the ribs. You want to get underneath the ribs. Get them up onto their toes. From right here, here's my sweep. Okay, just continue that motion into your sweep. So as you hit, compress, here's your sweep line. Okay, now from a slightly different angle. Same thing, we've got the hit, we hit with the puño, we've hit from here, coming straight up in. Okay? Notice again, not winding up, not giving them, letting them know it's coming. Okay? So after you hit, 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 there's your shot into the throat. See, so what's happening is once you hit, see I'm hooking her arm. What I'm doing is I'm compressing it right from here. Okay, it's not a real strong, it's not going to hurt, but what it's going to do is going to lock it into place. What's happening is you're going into a circular motion up and under. So it's like a half moon arc that you're taking with the stick. So right from here, as you're arcing it under the ribs to get them up, you're stepping, stepping, throwing. Okay, another option, we've done it before earlier from the top line, but just to show you from underneath, okay? It's just the uh, neck compression throws, okay? So, same line as we hit, one, two, three, four, we go into our uppercut, right from here, it's the same thing. All I'm doing is I'm using my neck as the lever. Remember, we did these earlier, okay? First one, just grabbing, throwing. Second one, switching the hand. Third one, compression. Fourth one, double 
okay? So it's just showing you that you can get to different locks from different angles. It doesn't necessarily have to be done the way it's shown. It can be taken from any line, okay? Okay, now from a slightly different angle. As we're working, you hit one, two, three, four, cutting in from here. She may push us in. So I take it right onto the neck, okay? That's your first throw. Second throw, okay? Third throw is your compression. And then you've got your double hand lock, okay? So it's just showing that you can take these, uh, these throws from any different angle you want, you like. So you just play with it and see what you can come up with. So now we have a different option. As we hit through and come underneath, what you're doing, you're stepping through and you're locking the arm from right here, okay? So it's locked against my body, okay? So I have this free arm. I don't need it. But in reality, when you lock this, it's just shooting straight in and hooking, okay? What it's doing is hooking and locking into your body, okay? That allows you to let go of this arm, okay? So what you're doing from right here is you're coming up into a half, right from here, and you're halving your own wrist, okay? Now from here, you've got the throw, okay? It's, this is very tight on your partner, okay? Right now, it's loose. In reality, it would be all real tight. See the reaction I'm getting, okay? For comfort's sake on your partner, I have it really loose, okay? In reality, I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna be here. See, it's that little bit of emotion, okay? But for comfort, we'll take it here. Now you go into the throw. All you've gotta do is cut down. You're cutting down, okay? Cutting down with the wrist. This is pulling, same motion. This is pulling the wrist. Okay, so now we're gonna throw. We throw. She lands right from here. All you're doing is letting go. Here's your X compression, okay? This is your knee into the head, okay? So I can cut her this way. I can cut her this way, depending which way I wanna take her, okay? If she tries to hit me, I'm gonna take her this way, okay? If, she, if, I, if she's pretty much out of it, I'm just gonna lock and compress, or I'm gonna change my line and compress. See, plus I have a body compression right here, okay? See what's happening is you're getting the ribs, plus you're getting the arm, okay? Plus I can compress and push in, see? Or I can use my leg to hook for compression, and I can double compress. Or I can use her body and double compress, okay? Or I can half again, see? Or use the top of my leg or hip, see? And compress. Compress, compress. Okay, from a different angle. Same thing, as we're hitting, coming underneath, it's the same thing, I'm stepping to the side of her. So from right here, once I get that hit, all I'm doing is I'm stepping in, see? That's shooting and grabbing, okay? So it's just coming through. There's my lock. All I do is a half, okay? Like I said before, if you're gonna do it for real, everything's gonna be real tight, okay? But it's very painful on your partner, okay? So from here, we'll take it loose. As we go into the throw, and we throw, see how she lands? All I do is I let go with that hand. I grab in from here for seat compression. These are my knees. Here's my compression, see? I can change the line again also and take it from this line, okay? That first time we came from, from behind, you can go behind, you can go in front, plus you've got opposite arm checked with knee, okay? So you've got your compression, you've got a body compression, okay? You've got double compression, okay? Plus you can turn them over. See, I've got the arm locked. You just continue to push down just go real slow on your partner, okay? And it puts us right back into here again. So here's my compression and lift. <coughs> Plus you can fold them, okay? Doesn't matter, same thing. You can knee, kneel. You can use fingers, take whatever you want, do breaks, doesn't matter. You can just lock in from here into your come along. So as you pop them up, <coughs> now you're into your come along. And then from here you can sweep. You can sweep, you can hip throw.
Okay, now we have another option. So as we hit through and we come underneath and we step through the lock in from here, it's all, everything exactly the same. You're coming in from here, you're turning down. Now instead of halving them, all you're doing is you're grabbing the stick right from here, okay? And all you're gonna do is just like you're driving a motorcycle, except you just can do it with both hands. All you're doing is you're just pulling forward. There's your shot, okay? Here's your X compression again. So you back into your locking from here. So now you've got them compressed in from here. See, it just all depends how they land. See, she happened to land this way, so I take advantage of having this arm trapped. Okay? So it's the same thing. I can put this down in from here and lock it. Now I have the compressions in from here. Just take a little bit more. Just be real careful on your partner. Okay? I can hook it in from here. Okay. So just be, just be careful and make sure that your partner is safe. Okay? And if they say stop, just let go of everything. Okay? Now from a different angle. So as we hit back to the same position, stepping through, okay? Actually, because what I'm doing too is I'm zoning from that other stick. See? And I'm hooking it in. See? It's hard for her to hit me. Now I'm in from here. Just grab it double. Same thing. Turn them. There they land. There's my grab. Okay? I can, if I want to, from right here, if, you're, if you like grappling, you can smash. You can come through from here, and you can go into arm bars, okay? All depending how your, how your legs are, it doesn't matter. So from here, I'm just hooking the head, locking in from here, sitting back, okay? Same thing, I can use this for a hook. Or I can hook it in from here. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now a little bit different as we enter in and we hit from underneath and we step behind. Okay, see as we're hooking and we're locking from here, all I'm doing is reaching back under and locking. Okay? So on this one, it's just your into your your uh, X your X compression. Okay. So as you take them over, we're gonna go slow, okay, just in case the arm gets caught in here. So we can go real slow. Yeah, see, so she falls right into it. Now you're just right into your X compressions. I can cut one way, I can cut the other way. Okay. I can use a stick to hook. I can cut one way, I can cut the other way. Okay. I'm into a straight line compression from right here. Okay. Same thing, plant it into the ground. Now I'm hooking. Okay. Just adds to the strength of it. Okay. You can switch the lines press or compress. See from right here, see I'm cutting into her and pulling back. Okay. So you just play with all your different options. Okay, from a slightly different angle. So with the same line as I hit stepping in. See? So I'm grabbing, I'm back up from here, I got my grab. See this can be a hit, doesn't matter. Here's my X compression. Okay. So from here, we're going to take her into the throw. As we go down, turn her over, there she lands. There's your hit, okay? So I've got compression one way, compression the other way. Putting behind the neck, compression. Right. In from here, back, compress, okay? I can back in from here. You can cut the arm, compress, okay? Plus notice how I'm twisting. I'll take my knee off her head, but you'd be on, on the head, okay? So from here, so basically what I'm doing is I'm compressing everything together. I've got the compression here, and I'm compressing the arm here, okay? Depending how you grab, now you can lock and compress, okay? Or I can just seek up the top of it from here and compress, okay? Same thing, you can turn them from right here. Just be real careful. See how they're locked up in from here? You've got your compression, plus you've got your break. If you just take, see how her shoulders all bent? Okay, if you just were to torque everything in back, you'd get your break. Okay, it doesn't matter. For head moves, 
I'm back to here again. Then just put it behind, or you put it in front, and there would be your choke compression. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go from underline to top line, okay? So same thing from the motion and from here, and as we hit and we cut, what we're doing is we're placing it onto the forearm, the hand is in an Nikio position, okay? All I'm doing is I'm pushing down on the arm, lifting up on my stick, there's your drop, okay? To show you what this motion is, basically if you look at it with stick, it's a vining motion, see? I'm vining her arm. If we're into, from right here, here's a binding motion, right? This is what I'm doing on her arm. My stick's going down, her stick is going up. That's your bind, okay? So, same thing. If you're into a binding motion and we hit, there's your bind, okay? From right here, one's going down, one's going up, okay? So, from that position in here, once you've uppercut, from right here, see what's happening? This is, this is, her stick, right? My stick is going down. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting that line. It takes her straight down. See how she's straight? I'm not, if I get off line on this, if I go to right here, it's not gonna work. Okay? If I go too far in this way, it's not gonna work. Okay? What this stick teaches you, teaches you what lines you have to lock on. Okay? See how it's almost straight from here to her, see her shoulder? Okay, so what's happening is once I get this lock on, I'm dropping that weight. Okay. Okay, now from a little bit different angle. So as we hit and we come up into the uppercut, okay, we place the arm. See how we've made two triangles again over the star, okay? We have a point of a triangle here, which her elbow was pointing to, okay? Now we have one that's running through her body from right here that her hand is pointing to, okay? Now I'm still into my binding motion, and as I bind, I twist, see? See, if her hand is like this, it's not so conducive. I mean, you can probably still get it if you muscled it, if you're stronger than them, but if you're not stronger than them, it's not gonna work. So what's happening is, I'm turning her hand, again, to the point of this triangle, okay? And then all I'm doing from here is I'm doing that binding motion, okay? So here's the drop, okay? Okay, another option. From in here, we're coming from underneath, okay, and I drop them. Now, what's happening is I'm going to make, I'm making a circular arc with my stick, okay? And what's happening is the hand is also going into an arcing motion, okay? So as it's locked in from here, both hand and stick are going the same direction, but the hand's going to lead the stick. So from here, what's happening is I'm taking her over this way. So it just locks into place, and there's your hit and break, okay? From a different angle. We've got our hits again, okay? And I've locked her. On all of these, what you want first is you want the compliance. You want them to drop. Once you get them to drop, you've got them. Okay, so it's the same thing. Stick is going in an arcing motion hand is going into an arcing motion, okay? The stick will follow the hand, okay? So right from here, there's your turn, there's your break.
So we'll just show it with a little bit of speed so you see how the body reacts when you cut the lines correctly. So as we cut in and lock in from here, one blocks her, there she goes. Okay. There's your break. From a slightly different angle, and once again, it doesn't matter what line you come from. We can just be in motion. There's my shot. Okay? I blocked her, turned her over, and hit. Okay? There's your break again. So, same thing if you can go one way, you can go the other direction. So, as we enter, and we've hit, and I've locked her. See, the only difference is now I'm changing my lines. Okay, what's going to happen is her hand is going to go to the point of the triangle. Okay, and what's happening is I'm going to pull. So I'm pulling her hand to this point right over for here. If you looked at a square inside the triangle, I'm pulling her hand to the point of that square right there, and I'm pulling her body to the point of the square over here. So now you're going from triangles to squares. Okay. So basically what's happening is I'm just moving her. That way I get her turned the opposite direction. Okay, then I have my brakes in from here. Or you can take them over, hit, hit to brake. Now from a slightly different angle. So same thing, doesn't matter how we come in, there's my hit, okay? All I'm doing is I'm coming over, I'm locking, I get her to drop. So it's the same thing. Now I'm going to the points of the squares. There's my square again. Okay, I'm pulling her hand to this point of the square. I'm pulling the stick to the point of the square here. Okay, so right from here, down she goes. This is your hit, okay? This is your crush. So I have the motion from right here, taking him over as you're hitting him into the break. Okay, another option from underneath. As we're hitting, coming up from underneath, I've locked her. See, I have the motion. All I'm doing is I'm placing the ascent in my forearm. Okay, now we're back to center lines again, like the first compressions we were doing. Here's the triangle. See how the point is going right to the point of the triangle, her elbow, from right here. Now I'm into her shoulder. Okay, so what I'm doing from here is I'm grinding, is I'm kneeing underneath to me. Then I'm dropping this weight straight down. As you hit, you're going to smash it into the ground. Compress. Okay. From here, you've got compressions. You've got compressions. You've got single compressions. From a slightly different angle, as I've hit, and I've locked. See, I'm placing it right in from here. So all that's happening is I'm just kneeing. See, it seems like a lot of motion, but it's not really. I mean, it's very quick. All you're doing is you're putting it here, kneeing, crashing it down. Okay, this is your compressions. See, your compressions, compression, compression, finger grabs. Okay, a little bit different option. Same line, coming from underneath. Once you lock them, get that motion in there, put it in from here, and I'm kneeing. Huh, okay? So what's going to happen is I'm hitting with the tip of the stick right from here. Okay? And I'm just continuing that motion to the takedown. Okay? So from right here, you're just going to drive that in and cut. Okay? Or you can hack it in from here and cut. Okay. Or you just be really mean and just smash it all the way to the ground. Okay. But see, I mean, they're pretty much wedged in right here. Okay. You got a really good wedge. Plus, you can just knee them from here. Okay. Plus, you can use your own body to compress with. Okay. Or you can just hook and compress. From a little bit different angle. Okay. So same thing. Doesn't matter what line you're coming from. As I lock them and put from here and I knee 
this is a hitting motion. It's just one quick motion. You're hitting. Bam. You take it. Right here. into the same line again. Okay. You can change things. If this goes in from front and from here, it doesn't matter. You can drive your fist into their throat and compress them. Okay. I can come in from here and lock it again. See, for your compression. Or I can come behind the head and compress to the ground. So that would just slam into the ground. So what it's doing is hyperextending the neck, plus you've got your compression in from here, okay? This would be the nice rib shot, okay? Or you can even put it onto the arm from here, and there's your compressions, okay? Plus you still have your straight line compression. Okay, if you can go one way, you can go the opposite direction. So in from here, as I get my strike, and I've locked them, and I've come up, and I've hit. This time I'm hitting back to here, behind the ear, okay? What's happening is that's pulling them straight to the ground. Let's slow with the partner. Let's just turn toward. So in from here, as I'm hitting, locking it down, this is put right behind the ear. I'm not going to put any pressure on it because it hurts terribly. But you're going to actually, say that's behind the ear, you're going to be leaning your weight onto it, okay? Except that would be right behind the ear, okay? As you're doing that, as you're compressing on the ear, this is cutting also, okay? So you've got double compression. Plus, as you're falling, this is hit, leaning the weight, compressing. Except it's going to be right here, okay? from a slightly different angle. So as we hit, and we block them, and I put it across, boom, there's the hit, right behind the ear. The exact same thing, compressed. See, also in from here, I'll put very little pressure on it. It's gonna be right here, well, I'll put it on the floor. From right here, you also have the elbow compression. So, that would be up behind the ear. You would grab, lean in with the tip of the elbow, and drive in. Okay. Okay, another option. Same lines as we hit. Remember, work your hitting patterns underneath. Okay. Once we lock them. Get them in from here. This one's more of a high line. What I'm doing is I'm coming, hitting into the rib. As I hit into the rib, I check the foot, okay? If you don't check the foot, they can squirm out of this one. So you check the foot. What you're doing, be real careful with this one, your partner, because it really tweaks the shoulder. What you're doing is you're hitting in front of the body and locking it into place, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to compress it in from here, okay? This one hurts a lot when you do it, okay? Just to show you, when you get that compression, it looks like this can just fall out. But what's happening is it's locking into place. Her arm is right here. So what happens is when you compress this thing, you're shoving this, you're locking this in. Except she's still locked in. Then you're going to compress this to the ground, okay? So the stick will be locked in there. But it's, it's just too much of a torque on your partner to do it. So from in from here, when you're taking that through, Okay, that's your lock. You're, in reality, you don't care. You're just going to shove it in there, okay? And then you're going to lock it and shove it in farther. Then you're just going to compress and roll. See how it takes your body? So basically what's going to happen is you're just going to drop all your weight straight onto that stick to compress it and break. Okay, now from a different angle. And from here, and we're hitting uppercut. There's your lock. We're on high line again. Same thing, checking your foot as I'm hitting the rib. Locking that into place. When you get this on your partner, just loosen up everything so it doesn't, doesn't hurt them. Okay? This is your compression. You're going to shove that in there. That's your compression. So you've got them turned. So from right there, the way their body is turned, you're just going to drop all that and smash it. Okay? 
except the arm's going to be all tweaked up. Okay. That's one of them that's hard to do safely. So, if you get the lock in and the compression, you'll see where where it can what can happen to your partner if you really did it. Okay, another option. So as we hit, I've got my thrust. I've taken them in from here. So notice first you always soften up that arm. Okay. So from right here, all I'm doing is I'm going over the top. Here's my compression. See. So I'm all doing is dropping my weight straight down. That's your compression right from here. <coughs> okay. So we've got. Just turn. Yeah. See where I ended up? You have a single arm compression. Okay. Leaves a free arm. It doesn't take much on this guy. See, you can do all the finger locking. Anything you want to do, you can go this way. You can cut them that way. You can take the fingers back. Doesn't matter. You can break them. You can double compress them. Okay. This one's really painful, okay? Because you got everything locked up. If you s compress it in from here and lock it, see? You can see how I'm just rotating from compression. It really just grinds into them, okay? And this is just going lightly. In reality, you just be compressing, just grinding, okay? So what you're doing is you're extending. So it's extending, or or else you're compressing in. So you have one where you're extending the arm out this way, the other one's compressing the arm. Okay, from a slightly different angle. Just showing the different locking positions you can go from. Say I miss it, I come up and underneath, okay? There's my lock, I'm grabbing, boom. All I'm doing is I'm grabbing right from the top and I'm just dropping my weight. So it puts me right into that single hand position. Okay, so I've got the compression. Plus, I have compressions where I grind forward, I grind backward, okay? Plus, if you want, you can go into X compressions. I can cut this way, I can cut that way, okay? If you want, also, you can take it back underneath the head. Move it on slow. Make sure you release that from the throat when they hit, but in reality, you wouldn't. And you've got your compressions in from here. Plus you have body leans, and you have different having. Plus you have grabs in from here, or just straight compression, straight compression line, right in from here, okay? You can also compress it onto the body. <coughs> or you can change your line in from here. Okay. Okay. Same thing, fingers. Okay, different option. So as we come from underneath, and we've locked them, we put it onto the forearm, and we've locked them, and we've come in from here for the compression. Say they start to fight it, you didn't quite get the line good enough, here's your top line compression. Okay, so it's the exact same thing, just straight compression from here, okay? You can take it straight down like we did before. Okay. You've got them from here, you're locking them, this is your straight line compressions again. Oh, okay. Or you can twist them. Same thing, you're compressing and twisting, okay? Plus, so I have the wrap right from here. This is a break. There's not, there's, the arm is locked. There's nowhere it can go. So as you pull and push from right here, this would be compressing to break, okay? Because it's all locked in here. The arm is actually locked. It has nowhere to go. So what you do is you're going to compress to break. A little bit different angle. So as we come in and we've hit, we've hit, we lock them. Oh, we get that knee. We're taking them in. They're fighting it. They pull it up. Just drop it straight down. Okay. This is your lock. Okay. I've got my straight compression. Okay. I may change the line. Take it underneath. I've got compression from here. Okay. Same thing. I can take it compression in from here. Okay. Lock it and compress. Okay. Same. I've got the half lock compression. Okay. I've got the body compression again. Okay. 
Same thing, you got it in from here. This is your locking, changing line. Now I'm going from underneath. First time we went from top. Now we're going from, they're on their back. Same thing, you're cutting it up, okay? This will be lifting. This is cutting. Put in. Plus I'm leaning on this so her arm can't lift up. All the weight's right from here, so you've got a tremendous amount of pressure, okay? Except you would just crash it down, everything at once, to get the break. Okay, so now from the compression, you'll go to the half. So as we're hitting in, get my shot, locker, knee, going from here, she locked it. What I'm doing is I'm taking the half right here. As I take that half, I'm going to walk. This is my sweep. Okay, be very careful with this because the, the way the shoulder is. Okay, so it's safer not to take your partner down, or if you do, loosen up. Take them down slowly, make sure there's no lock on there. Now you can see how that's locked into place. So you imagine if you just fell with it as you, as you swept them. Okay? All you do is locking that and pulling. See? Okay, from a different angle. Same thing. We've hit, doesn't matter, you can start to stick out, doesn't matter. Get your hit, got your lock. Soften the arm up a bit, soften the head up a bit. You're compressing from right from here. Locking it to the half, stepping from right here, power sweep. So right from here, boom, you're just gonna sweep them down, okay? So from that locking position, same thing as we sweep. You take your partner down, go real slow, make sure everything's loose so they don't hurt themselves. Okay? So from right there, it's the exact same thing. You're just going to compress. See, plus it's like compress and point. See? Same thing in from here. See? Just releasing the half. See, cupping my stick when I'm doing extending the shoulder. Okay? Plus you have from right from here, you've got compression top and compression down. So I'm doing is I'm taking it right in from this line to grab, compress, okay. Now I've got the compression here. Okay, now we go from palm down to palm up. So as we get our hits again, and we've locked them, and we've come in from here, and we've locked them. See, it's just like that top line we were doing. I don't lose contact with the stick. I just turn from palm down to palm up, okay? Now all I'm doing is I'm just rotating. Stepping off to the side, I'm rotating into a compression. See, right from here, okay? And that's your standard compression. This is pulling towards your body. This is compressing and going straight to the earth, okay? So from here, I have options. I can take it straight to the ground. See how she's going to land on her wrist? Okay. Be real careful with this one. And what you can do is you're just going to compress. Except you would be slamming that wrist to break the wrist as you're compressing. Okay. Same thing from this position and from here. See, I can also take it and hook it down into that position and hit with the puño, okay? Or in from here, hooking it down, taking it from this direction, okay? So that's your first line. Driving it straight down to break the wrist into your compression line, okay? Same thing if I switch positions. See, I have the same thing. I'm rolling, or I have double compression. Slightly different angle. So it doesn't matter what your striking pattern is. Okay. Once you get into that line, get the knee. I'm just switching, same thing. Don't let go of the stick. 
smash that wrist into the ground, there's your compression. Okay. Even when they're on the ground, you can still hook it. See, I'm just changing that line on them, changing the line, digging that into the spine as you compress. Okay. You can play with different options. Same thing. I can go under. Be real careful. Puts a lot of torque on your partner. Go real light and slow. Stop when they hit. Okay. So you just play with your different options. Slam it into the spine. Slam it into ribs. Compress. Okay, different option using what we call this an elbow dive. Okay, so and from this line, I've got my shot and I put her down, right? Say, so I want her down in from this area here, okay? I don't want to try this up from here because as I'm coming in, she may slide in for the hit, okay? So what I want is I want to soften her up, this scoops to lift, and all I'm doing is I'm crossing my hands into an X. Then what I'm going to do is I'm cutting down, straight down. So what happens is I have her cut in from here, okay? My hands are crossed, okay? Now, this is just straight compression. Straight compression, this is just lifting, see? So what you're doing is you're doing a combination of both. You're compressing in and you're lifting, okay? It's very painful, okay? So it's just straight in. So basically what it looks like from right here, what I'm doing is I'm cutting straight into me. See, I don't want any space in there. Her arm's in that little triangle hole right there. What's happening is I'm compressing that so there's no line. But as you're doing that, you're lifting up. So basically, you're, you're, there's no space in there. Everything is just compressed, okay? So you're just compressing it. Okay, from a different angle. So as I come up and lock them, if you need them, I just elbow, okay? See, I'm hooking from here, just hooking from here. All I'm doing is I'm just cutting straight down. Just going to drop them. So we'll turn. So right from, in actuality, you're going to be leaning on them, kneeing them. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting and lifting. Okay. This is very painful. Plus, I can cut and lift here. Okay. I can cut and lift here. Okay. That's just your straight lock. Okay, another line, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using circle to take them around, okay, from the same position. So as we've hit and we've locked, and we've come in from here, once I get the lock right from here, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the face and I'm taking them into a circle, okay, with my body, I'm stepping over, pitching into the same position. But notice as I go down from right here, I don't go like this where my arm falls off of the stick, okay. As you're going down from right here and you're hitting, you're rotating, the stick is right here into your arm, okay? So you're right here. Okay, you're not going up from here so the stick falls out. Okay, the stick is right here. Then you're basically into the same locking positions, okay? So if they push into me, right, and I fall, there's my arm bar. Very painful for them. Okay, from a slightly different angle. So as we come in and hit, and I've got the lock, soften them up a bit, come in from here. See, so once I get this motion where she's in from here, this is just hitting. But see, I'm rotating, rotating. Everything is in a circle. There's my cut. Okay, if, if for some reason they pull me forward, big mistake for her. I won't do it because what's going to happen is you're going to press and all your body weight is going to be on that arm and it's going to be excruciating. If they push you back, it still doesn't matter. You just hook them. I just released that, kept the pressure, but this is your lock. Okay. 
Okay, another option. When you're into this line again, we're back in from here, and we've come to the elbow, right? Can't quite get it, they start to move their arm. Go with it, see? Couldn't quite get this. So you put this into the tip of her sternum again. This is your first takedown. Again, loosen up everything. In reality, this is diving in. That's your compression, okay? So you're just gonna hit and dive, okay? So when you do that fast, you're just gonna drop it all. Stick straight into the sternum. So basically all that weight is cutting right into the sternum. This hand is pulling towards your hip into a circle. Your hand is going to rotate. Now it's going to be into the stick. From a slightly different angle. So we've hit. Coming to the uppercut. I got her to move. I've hit in from here. Okay. I've come in. She moves that. All I'm doing from right here is I'm rotating. So that locks it onto the... You don't even need this hand. It locks it in place. But from right here, all you do is you're following the stick. This is your hit into your takedown. So make sure you release on your partner. In reality, you wouldn't. You would just cut. <coughs> Same thing, you can pull, pull this into the, into the body. Or I can half it again, see? Or I can half and pull here, okay? Or basically same. A little bit different option, diving under the arm. So as we've come up, got the hit, and I've locked them. See? Boom, hit. I come up from here. They take it. All I'm doing is diving under that stick. Okay, this is real painful. For, so go loose on your partner. See from right here. See that motion? We'll go down real slow. Loosen up everything. Reality, you wouldn't. In reality, you'd be putting this up into a half. Okay, but for safety's sake, it's too tough on your partner. See, I'm locked. So I can use my, my elbow right now is in her rib. Okay, so see, just doing, that's just the elbow and the rib. Okay, that's just pulling the arm. Okay, this is cutting upright. See, so when you do them all together, it's extremely painful. Okay. They say, well, they still got that free arm. Yeah. They can't do anything with it, especially when you actually crank it in. Okay, slightly different angle. So we've hit, 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 and we've locked. Remember, always want to get that, get that motion first, because I can come straight in from here, okay? But she cut me. So what I'm doing is I'm diving in. See? All that's happening is I'm diving that hand in. We're going down slow. Release all the pressure on your partner when you go down. So it's the same thing. Okay. Doesn't matter also, I can change the line and compress this way so I have a free hand to hit with. Okay. A little bit of a different option. So as we've cut up and got the hit and locked them in from here and I've hooked and she took me over from here, right? Now what I can do is I can just, from right here I can do a double takedown, okay? What I'm doing is I'm using my forearm to brace this into her chest, okay? That's holding it into place. Now I'm just doing a double hand takedown. Okay, so this is going to be a fast motion Basically what's happening is I'm coming toward my own body with her wrist, okay? Cutting in from here. Forearms keeping it stable. Go down slow. So what's happening is this is locked in place here. So as you're cutting with the elbow here, you're laying that into the solar plexus, okay? You can change your line also and go into the throat, okay? 
be real bad, stick it over from here, and you got your wrist locks again. See, it's just like the opposite side that we were doing from the uh, top position. So basically what's happening is I'm cutting with this forearm here. This one's cutting back this way. This one's torquing the head. So you got all three in one, one position, okay? Slightly different angle. So as we hit, it doesn't matter. I hit, hit, I got them locked, right? Didn't quite get what I want, she started to counter me. I'm putting it in, don't quite have it. All I'm doing is I'm dropping, see, right from here. So you're just putting my hand, my head on my hand, and I'm dropping it away. But same thing, in from here, the weight's all going on there, right? Or you can change that line and compress or I can compress. Okay. Next one will just be a top line compression. Okay. So as we've hit, and I've hit, I'm under, and I'm locked. Okay. I've hit, I've come up from here, couldn't quite get it. All I'm doing is falling with that compression line. Mm -hmm. I'm just going right onto the top. So it's the exact same thing. I'm just compressing. Okay. Also in from there, I can use this to lock internal. Okay. Because then I go for the compression and I can't get it, it moves. She squirms. See that I just compress it right from here. Or I'm gonna compress it in from here. Or you're gonna switch line, cut and compress. Okay, a little bit different angle. So as we're hitting, and there's my thrusting line. I've cut, I've hit, coming from here. See how I'm, see how I'm just following, following this motion? All that's happening is I'm following the motion. Just keep the line, keep it loose when your partner's going down. So you're in the exact same position again. Okay. Plus you can play with changing angles, changing grips. Okay. It, the combinations are endless. See what happens if I have it in from here and I start to tweak the wrist this direction. See, grabbing the pad of the hand and twisting. Okay. What happens if I let go from here, grab, twist, compress. Okay. Plus you can just take them completely around and smash it. Okay, another option from the compression. So we've come in and I've hit, hit, locked. Come in, it seems like an awful lot to go to, but it's really not, okay? Once you get into these lines, okay? Once I've compressed in from here, say she's cutting back, I can't get it. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the stick here and I'm putting it tight to the body or tight to the arm. Because if it's loose, you can slip out of it, okay? So once in from here, all I'm doing is pushing that up, okay? What's happening is I'm stepping to the side, and this is locking under my arm, okay? It doesn't look like much. Okay, well, watch what happens when I put a little bit of pressure. So she goes up. So in actuality, what's going to happen is this is going to slap the palm and lift. See how she's on her toes? From here, you're going to sweep. Okay, it's too hard of a fall for your partner to do though, okay? But what you're gonna do from right here is you're gonna slap, get them on their toes. From right here, I'm stepping, sweeping, okay? But it's unsafe to do to your partner. Now, what happens is if, because a lot of times you end up right here on the bone, right? And you, except this is tight in here, see how this, see if I'm like this, she's got all this playroom. If I have the space in here, she'll just pull out. See? So what's happening is when you're tucking that, it's locked in tight. So if the palm is down from here, okay, same thing. See what happens when I, when I rotate it? But as you're rotating it, you're cutting the fingers, see? Because if I just go like this, she's going to sweep out of it. So as I'm locking, this is automatically right here, okay? It'd just be slap.
Okay. Also from here, I'm C-cupping compression straight down. It doesn't look like much, but it's putting a tremendous amount of pressure on these bones. It's the same thing when the wrist is up. See, I'm compressing down. See, puts a lot of pressure on. Doesn't matter where it's at. See, see, I just to show you, it's just one finger. It's a. It, I mean, it looks it looks fake until you feel it. It's an am amazing amount of pressure right from here. And just imagine if you went like this into that break there. See? Basically, you just be going slap onto that knee to get the break from either position. Doesn't matter. Hunk. See, and from here, I mean, they're going to flip with that. They have no options. That's just your same thing with compression line. See, plus I can just grab with one hand, see? And there's your compression. C cup into a half. A slightly different angle. So same, you've cut up. I've come in from here. And I've come down right from that position. Can't get it. She starts to cut it. All I'm doing is grabbing right from here. Okay? It's just like straight line compression. I've got the straight line compression. I'm keeping the pressure. Notice how the pressure is constantly on. I don't relieve it. See, pressure is constantly on as I tuck that in. There's my lift. There's my C-cup compression. If her wrist turns, same thing. I'll push it in there into that line. See? Lock these fingers up. C compression. See? Or just drop compression. Tunk. There's my compression. See? Plus if I just use the pressure going down against my leg, it's tremendously painful. Plus I can turn it onto the bone. Now you're on bone. I can let's pull your sleeve up. Okay, see how it sounds flat? I'm turning to bone. Okay. Now I'm compressing. Okay. Turning to bone, compressing. Okay, now we'll start with the empty hand application of all the stick techniques we just did. First one we're doing, when we were coming down from the top and we were locking into the point of the triangle on the shoulder and we went into the, made her arm into a triangle, okay? So the same thing, empty hand. We start from motion, so we're just going from who but motion and from here, so it doesn't matter. So what I'm doing is I'm the same thing, I'm checking the hand, I get the eye jab, okay? This, my arm becomes a stick. Same thing. I'm compressing straight into that shoulder. Okay. Now, from right here, what's happening is I'm cutting with my arm this way. Okay. It's like a counterclockwise position. And then the wrist is also going counterclockwise. So with both that together, watch what happens to the body. So it just takes them straight down your back into position from right here. Okay. So from different angle, as we're shooting, get your eye jab, okay? Same thing, I'm compressing. See how I have the wrist? The wrist is compressing. I'm going straight into the shoulder. First you want them down, okay? If they're standing up, you don't have it, okay? They're just gonna cut right into you. Bump, the counter. From this position here, as soon as you're driving that straight into the shoulder, you gotta get them to move. Then you cut the lines. That becomes your Take down line, plus you can take them over, back into these again, back into your braking, or you can go into your sit outs, into your arm bar.
Okay, another option. As we're coming in and we get the shot, and we're coming in from here, we can't quite get it, okay? She's cutting back. What I'm doing is I'm going into the figure four. A lot of systems close their, their hand on it from right here. What happens is if they're really strong and they cut back into you, they can cut that pressure on you, okay? If they're stronger than you. If you open your hand, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter how strong they are, and you cut to the earth, down they go, okay? Makes a big difference. So remember, this works good on your figure four if the person is uh, stronger than you. So as we're hitting, and we've come in, I've tried to get this and I can't get it, they start to cut back. So all I'm doing is I'm opening my hand from right here, okay? And all I'm doing is I'm making an arc straight down into the earth. See, so you're just cutting straight down. So from right here, I'm just cutting straight down and it drops them. There's your compression hit, okay? Okay, another option. We're in from here and we've cut. And I've cut, I try to get the figure four and I can't quite get it. She may hit up on my elbow. Bonk. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the line. Okay. What's happening is my elbow from right and from here is I'm cutting down on it for a compression. See, it's just like with having a stick in here. See, so what's happening is I'm cutting down on that line. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm using this and grinding that bone into her arm. Okay. But it's locking me into a Nikio position because as I cut, I'm also twisting the wrist. Okay. So that will put her right down into the ground. Okay. So it's the exact same position as with the stick. Okay, from a little bit different angle. As I'm coming in, the IG I'm going for this, can't get it. She's coming in or she's punching. See, so I'm taking that from this line and from here. So what I'm doing is I'm grinding my arm. It doesn't look like I'm doing it, but what I'm doing is I'm twisting and grinding that bone in from the half, okay? So you're grinding that in, taking them down, take them down slowly, very painful. You just feel that. In actuality, you just cut it right into them, okay? And you just slam, you slam your body right on top of them. So just like the second one, when we had the arm into the triangle, it's the same. We're shooting in. Now we're just taking the line off into this line from right here. Okay? So it's the exact same thing. I want her body off center. If her body's upright, it's not going to work. Okay? I want her off center. See? Then I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm cutting both angles from right here. See? So then it just turns the body. There's your compressions hits. Hits. Okay? Same thing from a different angle. See, I come in, I get my shot, okay? All I'm doing is I'm driving that in. See how her body's already going off? As soon as the body's offline, I'm cutting both directions, okay? It's just cut. Same thing. You can do whatever you want. You can knee, you can kick, doesn't matter, okay? You can go into locks and compressions. So the next line we went into was the arm bar, okay? Once we had the stick and we've hit, we went from palm down to palm up, remember? And we've hit from here. Okay, so it's the same thing. Go for motion, and from here, as I hit, see my palm is down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate the palm up, okay? But as I do it, I step out of the way of her. I don't want her tackling me or crashing into me. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping behind. Now I've got the break. I have the positioning from here. I can use my knee or I can use the middle knuckle from here. So what I'm doing is I'm compressing, okay? I'm using the knee, I'm compressing, or I'm locking the hand down and compressing. That would just be a breaking, breaking motion, okay? So these ones from right here just hits. 
you're just going to hit and drive into that, that nerve right here. Okay, same thing. Knee. You can brace. Switch. Brace. Let's go real light. Didn't keep much on those. From a different angle. As we're hitting, I've locked. I'm already right into armbar arm bar position. So you've got your hips palm down. All I'm doing is I'm stepping out of the way for energy. If her energy's coming in or if she's hitting, I'm taking it straight down. So once you take them down, this is your break. Oh, all I'm doing is I'm taking this from right on from this line, dropping to the elbow or striking. Okay. From right here, if I get this locked into position, brace, cut. Brace, cut. Okay, from the arm bar's position, from motion, as we hit, I'm trying to get the arm bar, he starts to cut in, you go into the Cody Gush, and down right in from here, it's just following that motion, okay? Same thing, you still have the control of the hand. Okay? It's the same thing, you can lock it up. Okay, from a little bit different angle, as she's hitting, and I'm coming to the arm bar, I can't get it. As she's coming, what I'm doing is I'm stepping out of the way of that energy. If the left is coming in, or the right is coming in, I'm blocking it with that hand anyway. Okay? But as it's coming in, I'm stepping off to the Cody Gosh and taking it out. Same thing, I have control of the wrist. Okay. Same thing. Okay, everything has you have control of it. You're just turning one direction, pulling another. Okay. Okay, next motion was coming from underneath. Remember when we hooked from here, we dropped them, okay? The good thing about the stick is it shows you what your proper lines are, okay? If I'm right here, it's not gonna work, okay? Same if I'm too tight in here, it's not gonna work, okay? What the stick is showing me is what line I've gotta cut on, okay? So if I'm empty hand, going from motion, I mean, from here, here's my uppercut, okay? I know what line I've got to cut on, okay? So I'm just cutting straight down, okay? If I had no idea, without the stick, I don't know what line. If I'm right here, I'm trying to cut, nothing's going to happen, okay? If I'm too far over, nothing's going to happen, okay? But once you get your hit, you already know your line. That's where you put your cut in, okay? From slightly different angle. Yeah, as you're coming in, there's your uppercut. See how he's turning, turning her body. See, from right and from here, you've got your hit. All I'm doing, it's almost like you're elbowing. See, it's almost like this elbow strike here. See, so from right here, when I've done my shot, I'm cutting, cutting. See, but right from here, drop him. Okay, plus that leaves you open for anything you want. Okay. Okay, a little bit different angle. As we're coming in, we have our uppercut and we get our cut down from here. It's the same thing we did with the stick. What I'm doing is I'm cutting into her arm this way and I'm taking her hand forward. But what's happening is his hand's going forward, this arm's not following. This arm is actually cutting back, so you have resistance. Okay. So once I cut in from here, this is your turn. See? That's your break. Again, same thing, you're back into these positions, okay? You can lock them from here, C cup them, lock them, C cup them, lock them. Okay, different angle. So as we're coming in and I get the shot, and I'm cutting them down, see, so it's the same thing. Remember, as I'm taking this arm forward, this one's not following because I'm relieving pressure. What's happening, this arm is cutting toward them as this arm's going forward. We have two 
different motions. See how the wrists are twisting, cutting? This is the same motion as your inside switch with the stick. Okay? So, in from here, as I take this down, this one's cutting forward. There's your turn. There's your break. Same from here. Back into these. Got the hit. Got the knee. Compression lift. Compression lift. Okay, to show the, how the empty hand applications will work with the stick patterns we did earlier, remember from here we were hitting down, coming up, hitting across, hitting across, right? Look at the wrist motion. So I'm hitting down, it's coming up, turning, right? So if I didn't have the stick, I mean that same motion, twisting line, to hit, to hit, to hit. So as you come in from here, and I locked her down, see, as I'm grabbing the head, this is that twisting motion, okay? So you've got your hit, you've locked them, see? This is reaching around, that's your choppy motion, okay? Same thing for a motion again. So as we're hitting, we're locking. Get that lock in, see? See how the twisting motion comes? Here's your, your hits. Or you can just turn them, Compress them onto the neck. I'll show you from right here. As we uppercut, we lock. See, I'm turning in from here. This is going to be a real slow on your partner. Right, base of the skull. This is your compression elbow. Huh? Okay. Then you're just slapping them out of the way. Okay. Do whatever else you want. Show it from a different angle. So same thing, we're going for motion. We've got the uppercut. I come into the crook of the arm. I cut, see? I'm reaching right from here. I'm grabbing. There's my knee. There's my compression into my hip. Press, it doesn't matter what you want to do. Anything. The empty hand techniques are up to you. They're endless, okay? just to show the full range of motion on the head. As we're coming in and I'm hitting, if I just keep that motion going to the face, that's the exact same motion we're doing with the stick. Empty hand, it's coming around to the ground. It's coming around to the ground. We call it a rev. It's a revving motion to hit, to hit, to hit. So, if you have the, the head in from here, I'm revving, smash into the face into the ground, okay? Same thing from different angle. Coming into motion, I have my uppercut into crook, I push it, rev it, smash, straight into the ground. Plus you still have control of the elbow. Now you're going to take force from a circle into a stationary object, which will be your elbow. So as we're coming in, and we've hit, and I've hooked her around from here, I'm taking her into that elbow strike. Okay. From here what's happening is I'm scooting around, and from here, this is my takedown. Okay. So a little bit different angle. As we're coming in, I get my uppercut, and I've cut, and I started to turn her. I'm pulling her right into the elbow. I'm wrapping around the face. Okay, another option. 
as they're coming from underneath, and we've turned them, their head into the elbow, it's setting you up fine for a half. Okay. Put you right into your half. Okay. From a little bit different angle, as we're hitting, we've hooked the head, cut down, pull them around into the elbow, right in from here. This is my half. Okay, just gonna plant it in. Okay, or you can even switch the line; doesn't matter. Okay, play with different ones. You can take them down, wrap, take them to the ground, go anywhere you want to go from there. A little bit different line, take it into a pooter. Okay, so as we're coming, and I got the uppercut, and I've cut, okay, I took them back in from here, and I've elbowed. All that's happening is one is going to the head, one's going to the arm. This is your name, these are your pooters. <laughs> Same thing, half control. Half control of the wrist, the knee. Same thing, half control of the wrist the entire time, the knee. You can go into any locking you want. Okay, now put her from opposite side. As we come in and we've hit and I'm locked and turned into that elbow. Huh? See, I'm just switching that line. It's just all going right in from here. It's just all flowing together. See, so I've got the knee. Well, you can take the head in from here or you can even just turn it in from here. Same thing. Got control, always have control. See also from here as you're turning, I have control from here, I'm grabbing. This is your twisting compressions, okay? Same thing in from here, locking it. So you're using everything as a compression, see? Onto the stick and from the locks. See the stick is telling you where you can cut and where you can't, okay? Okay, show you what this motion was with the stick that we did, was when we came from the uppercut, remember, and we hooked the hand, and we came into the ribs, into that sweep, that sweep line. It's the same thing from underneath as going in for motion. As I'm hitting up, I'm hooking. I'm hooking that arm, this is rotating underneath, see? It's like two circular motions. This is hooking down, this is rotating, see? So, from right from here, as I rotate into that C cup, I'm locking it into place from here. That's locked in. This is my cutting motion. As I cut from here, I sweep. Okay, this is your sweeping button. Oh, okay. So from a slightly different angle, <clears throat> as we're coming in and an uppercut. See how one hand's rotating to the other? Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm locking this into place and I'm cutting, see? As I'm cutting, same thing. I'm stepping, stepping, sweeping. Okay. Oh. Just to show the transition a little bit uh, better, we'll just take it slowly. So as I'm cutting from the uppercut, see I'm hooking onto this arm here. So it's hooking, and this is rotating from the C cup on top. See, C cup. I just place it in position here. Okay, turn it so you can see. So I've gone from here, one is rotating to a C cup, locking it into place. There's your cut. Just like this hand becomes a stick, my right hand becomes a stick. Now you've got your different sweeping options, okay? You can knee and you can bump and take them down from here, plus you'll be crushing as you go down, okay? Now I'll show you on a slightly different angle. Same thing as we're hitting in, uppercut, okay? See how one's cutting, one's rotating, okay? It's the same thing. I can either sweep, up, okay? From right here, see, once you get that pain compliance, see, how they're up on their toes, now you can bump, 
take it from here, same thing. I'm going to cut and drop at the same time. So, okay, plus I have that, that lock in there. Okay, now we'll just take it into the flow drill, okay? So you can practice all the motions in one time. So as we're coming in, we're starting from top line. I've hit, I've compressed, I've compressed, I've hit. I've gone into the arm bar, they cut back, went to the coat gosh, okay? Back into the arm bar, they're cutting back, I'm rotating to my cut, okay? Didn't quite get the line, change the angle, reverse it, okay. Now it's just going opposite direction. She's cutting back, changing the line. Back into the arm bar. They cut up, back into your triangle, back into your straight line. You can just continue that motion. Just play with different motions. And just have fun with it. Thank you for watching these videos. We'd like to dedicate them to Grandmaster Kaka Kenyeti, who's been a great inspiration to both of us. And we'd like to thank you most of all for watching this tape. We hope that you've learned from them and that you can expand your knowledge and just go with the flow. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're just going to uh, play with motion and cover some of the things we did just out of flow from just playing together. Okay, so as we're hitting, we're just going from locking pattern. So, same thing. Hitting motion again. Coming 
from under. I'm locking on this line. Since I have it here, I'll take her down from here. This is my lock.
Christopher Petrilli is one of the best kept secrets in the U.S. martial arts community. A former U.S. Army Ranger, Petrilli is an 8th degree black belt in Dose Paris Escrima under the legendary Grandmaster Kakoi Kanyete. He is also an expert practitioner of Indonesian Penjak Silat and Japanese Aikido and a high ranking instructor of Grandmaster Kanyete style of Escrito, a unique blend of the Filipino arts and Aikido. start is uh, everyone knows six count right good okay the only difference is normal six count okay the only difference is we're starting from thrust position what we we'll do is we're hitting puño okay so we're going one two three one two three one two three okay so what what this represents striking from here is if your empty hand okay that's an elbow okay it's the same thing stick to empty so think of it when you're when you're doing it think of throwing an elbow strike that'll help you 
to hit the puños, okay? So, and also, the foot that you're, the hand you're striking with is the foot you step forward with. So you go one, two, three, one, two, three. Good. Okay, play with that. If you have any questions, we'll come around and give you a hand. Now it's